post a nota, let them all know that we're streaming. Twitch.tv. Can't things things yet. Little Miss Moxie. Alright guys, welcome back to my stream. Ooh, radiant team fan. We have today the Transient Rain versus Fire Breathing Duckies. Uh, it is a best of three. It is with the Noto Winter Tournament. Radiant team fan. They are banning things right now. Let's go right over to the draft. I am eating a milk dud. Please let me know if my, my mic is too open. Um, I had that problem last time. It was just way too loud, so let me know. I'm gonna make this a wee bit louder too while we're at it. Alright, so so far we've seen two bands from each of them. We have the ban on the Doom and the Shadow Fiend, those are both very currently in the meta, and we also have a Wind Ranger who is really, in my opinion, OP right now, and an Enigma ban, which is kind of interesting that he would be a second ban for them. My stream apparently is not working at all for myself, so I'm gonna reboot that. While we're doing this ban, we have a Jakiro pickup, which is a little surprising. Team, pick it, pick it good. Ember spirit. We have an em wow, that was a fast Ember spirit pickup. Come on, Radiant team, you gotta pick them right. I don't know if that's going to be an Ember spirit mid or if that's going to be a safe lane. I would assume probably a mid. I feel like he's better mid, but it could go either way. They've also picked up Lich, which means they're going to have a really good team fight, uh, and also very good control of the laning phase. Bassy, are you back yet? Yeah, oh, man, I've been here for a while. Only 10 oh, you're supposed to here. talk with me then and cast. Oh, hey, it'll okay. Be fine. So I was just saying, uh, actually, on stream, how Reserve they picked time. up that Ember Spirit very quickly, and I think it might be a mid Ember Spirit, just because it seems kind of unusual to pick up your safe lane immediately. Oh, I have to agree with that. <laughs> um, There's I, nothing more I can really say other than that. It's just like, hey, Ember Spirit, Ooh, there you go. But the bands I like. It looks like, well, I was really surprised by that Enigma second band. They're really going for, I think they're going push with the Jakira and the Shadow Shaman. At least. From the looks of it, I guess so. That's what Probably I would assume. Not, yeah, they're really not wanting Entire the team, team fight. Band. I do like the uh, the immediate banning of Doom, Wind Ranger, and Shadow Fiend, because those are, heroes are very, very OP now. Oh. I mean, Doom did get a nerf, but... Yeah, you don't want to deal with a Shadow Fiend oh, in the middle when you're Ember Spirit. Like no, definitely not. Nice. That's why I was thinking Especially it also has to be a, yeah, the, the, a mid. Five seconds left now. Reserve time! Guys, let me know if my audio is too well, loud, let's see okay? Here. The duckies are taking their time on their ban, or not anymore. They're going Radiant for the darks here. Which makes me think that they're gonna pick up some sort of uh, melee, probably hard carry safe lane. Also, they just don't want to deal with the wall, especially with Dukiro's macro pyre, but it's not oh, a man. huge deal. Wait, there's only 10 seconds left to pick a hero! Five seconds, yeah, hey, you can really fine. box in a team that way. Take one or the other. Hey Morty, guess what time it is? I don't know, Rick. What is it? It's reserve time. Oh, that's a well, band I've been seeing a lot. A of Tusk. They do not like Tusk. I do not like Tusk. I know that he's totally um. What's the word? He's been nerfed a bit, but I don't think he's been nerfed enough. Well, the ice shards alone is just something that you have to deal oh, with. Rick, there's only ten seconds left to pick a hero. I just love those ice shards. You just throw yeah, them and be like, "Ha! I just separated now. you from your team. Now deal with it." Or half the time, I will have a tusk on my team. He'll throw no, out the ice shards, and he will totally fuck up our entire team fight. No. <laughs> I think I think we played a game together where that's him. Oh, Venomancer! That's my bro. Come on, Radiant team, you gotta pick him right. Oh boy. Which means I'm going to be heavily scrutinizing the Venom answer. <laughs> well, I love Shadow Shaman, you know. 
We had a game yesterday where we picked up a um, watched them pick up a wyvern. I was so excited. It's not every day you get to see a wyvern every day. Well, wyvern's just such a good support. She's so good for ganking too. She's got that wicked slow okay, with the arctic burn. Only Ten seconds left to pick a hero. I know she's underutilized in my yeah, opinion. She but... absolutely is. And Winter's Curse is amazing. It pierces BKB. It's well, what do you insane. Know? It's reserve time. See. What I'd love to see is if you put like a Winter Wyvern with an Enigma combo wombo, that would be just nasty. You just black hole them, and then as soon as it's done, Wyvern's curse, uh, what was it? Winter's curse, sorry. Winter's curse, and boom! It's just gonna be like end all be all. Don't want. Th oh, that's a good ban. I'm sick of seeing Alchemist mid. What? No! Alchemist in the middle. You gotta go with that. At least one out of best of three. I actually haven't seen anyone play Alchemist yet. What? Yep, nope, I haven't seen it in this tournament. I mean, I've only cast one other game so far, so... It's like the flavor of the month, and it's a good He's flavor. He's absolutely the flavor of the month, yes. Morphling! Whoa! There is a hero uh, I have not seen a lot of people. play. Oh, I forgot to post on my Twitter that we're casting this game right now. I will do that right now before I forget. Yeah, don't forget to throw my handle in there so people can yell at me calling me an idiot. That seems awful. Oh, man, Why would you want that? Ten seconds left to pick a hero. What's your oh, What's your handle again, Bassy? Okay, thanks. Five seconds, Morty. It'll uh, be fine. What was it? It's at, at Darkthorn26, I think it was. At Darkthorn26? Oh, okay, hold on. I'll, I'll ask you that hey, Morty, once I finish happened. writing up this week. Got five people watching stream. Welcome, guys. I'm co-casting with Bassy right today. Deep. Later on, we're yeah. going to have Swish, the leader of Nota, is going to come and cast with us. It's going to be great. Elder Titan, this is a very interesting draft. We've got a lot of heroes that I haven't seen being played very, very often, especially the ET. That man well, with the, the briefcase. Definitely going for a team oriented fight. Like, if you think about it, if everything oh, goes to plan, Rick, right? Yeah, the Elder Titans. Uh, Earth Splitter goes straight yeah, down the middle, gathers everybody. Left, you have Lich's ult on top of that with Venomancer near. Mmm, that's pretty dirty. Uh, yeah. Reserve uh, yeah. time! What's your handle again? Dark, Dark Thor and 72? Uh, 26. Hold on, let me check like Twitter. It, it's uh, D A R K T H O R N E. Yep. Anything else? Uh, 26 is the number. No, I don't want to follow BlizzCon right now. Doto. All right, it's up on the Twitter. Oh man, Rick, there's only 10 seconds left to pick a hero. So it looks like now they just need their offlane, unless it's an offlane to Kira and they're channeling their inner universe. Well, what do you know? It's reserve time. And what do you think the safe lane carry is going to be? Because I don't think it's going to be the Ember safe laning. Uh, for the duckies? Yes, for the duckies. Against that team, team honestly, man. they have three intelligence heroes. I would go with an anti mage, but they want the ban for the anti mage. Um, oh, really? Just to mess with transient? I would really go for a silencer right here. Hmm, yeah, there's a that lot of int lineup. Stops his team fighting abilities right there and there. Not to mention, like I said, they have three intelligence heroes. If you take one of them out or two of them out with silencer, it's just like, okay, four intelligence towards me, four intelligence against them. Yeah, that's actually a really good call. I would like to see that then. I'm not sure though. That makes the team very, very squishy. I mean, both teams are exceptionally squishy, except for Morphling. You can do the switch. But. Reserve time! Yes, take your time on picking who your carry is going to be because that can make or break a game. Yeah, I wouldn't go with like a Spectre because they have so many disables on the other team with, you know, the Shadow Shaman, the uh, Storm Spirit. Are they uh, going to go mid-game, do you think? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, there's so many fun options for a carry. You know what I haven't seen from a lot of 
games lately are the Spirit. But huh. against that team, no. <laughs> well, you can't play a Spirit in Captain's mode. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. No, I haven't seen him in the, in pub play either. It's kind of weird. He, he, like for a while, he was like, ah, everybody wants him, and then nobody wants him to play him. Well, anymore. either you're really good at him, or you're really terrible. <laughs> There's no ground. There is no middle ground. Absolutely. You can go ahead and try to like make the middle ground, but then you realize you're in like, you know, falling in the chasm of like, ouch. Took one step. Dragon Knight! Whoa. Oh, okay, they're going for an early mid-game advantage here. I don't know what they're gonna pick for their, their bottom here. Like, they need an offlaner, unless it's not Jakiro. Yeah, it's not a bad pick for the duckies to go for a Dragon Knight, because it just adds a little bit more beef. Puts in a little bit more of a buffer for Ember Spirit to run away from or get to. Well, if Ember snowballs, it won't be an issue. Play. Yeah, he, he's very mobile, but. Oh, oh the Lord PA FDA. pick. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, looks like we have a DC immediately. Fireflyer. Well, one, why don't we introduce the teams while we are having this pause? So over on the Radiant, we have Transient Rain. Bassy is dead, apparently. Oh, shit. Uh, we have on the Storm Spirit Mid Central, E-Jam. On the Morphling Safe Lane, Agent Carolina. Dodo Rexosaurus on the Shadow Shaman. The PA, I'm not sure where they're going to land this PA, actually. Uh, Ambrotus, and then on the Jakira, we have CXC. On the Dire side, we have Spello on the Ember Spirit. Benfish239 on the Venomancer. Match along the Lich. Chocolate, the Dragon Knight. And Friar Flyer on our Elder Titan. This is a best of three match. Uh, I'm sorry that you have to deal with my terrible camera skills. I wish someone else could do this for me. But looks like we're gonna have a great game. Looks like they're going over here for the top rune. Morphling's gonna head over to the... Oh goodness. We lost the Storm Spear. What's happening though? Whoa, why? I uh, wonder if they're going to smoke onto the other. No, no smoke on them. They're just going to go all for bottom rune here. Well, this Morphling goes to top rune. Pretty standard build on that Phantom Assassin from the beginning. Takiro definitely going support. As is the Shadow Shaman. Looks like they're dual laning. That's something I haven't seen in a while. The adorable courier. Oh my god. Oh, that is not a courier. What? The little bounty huntling, I think, is so cute. He's got one weird eye, apparently. Oh my word. Yeah, he's a little derpy looking. And the Radiant has a Wyverling courier. Very cute, indeed. Just waiting for the Storm Spirit to come back so we can get started. Waiting for Bassy to come back, too. Oh, his computer crashed, apparently. I think everyone's back in now. We can get started again. Hello, and game Lieutenant. is back on. Did like Dragon Knight has not leveled anything. He'll probably take Dragon Tail if he has a chance of first blood. Oh, they're going actually into Radiant Jungle. Trying to find this PA? We're trying to ward. Trying to ward. PA's gonna throw out a dagger. They're gonna block that camp. If this Jakira is smart, he's gonna realize that the camp is blocked fairly soon. 
Oh, Morty. Oh, it's about to start, Morty. This might be... So our first blood happens. We do have two on the Radiant. However, we do have four on the Dire sitting over here. Really trying to secure that rune. It looks like they're not even going to bother. There's a horn. Looks like Marfling's going to get the top rune. And bottom rune is going to go to the DK here. Uh, easy peasy, pumpkin game, peasy. Just started, baby. Oh, so it is a safe lane ember. I was not expecting that. So does that mean we're going to put the Dragonite mid? Dragonite's going to go against the Storm Spirit. It'll be pretty durable against him. We've got the Elder Titan and the Lich moving top. We've got wards placed over here. And here in the usual spots, however, they did block the pole camp, so that way they cannot actually grab those. Getting some harass up here. This is not a great lane for the Ember Spirit, just because you've got two ranged. Elder Titan's gonna smack him with his, uh, Stay player a couple times. Excellent. Some movement going on in mid lane. Let's see what the CS is looking like. Last hit something nice. Right now, the Ember Spirit is actually leading with the last hit, so it's surprising. This Shadow Shaman! Oh my! Elder Titan gives no fucks. He's just going for it. The Lich rotated mid doesn't look like anything came out of it, though. And this little Venomancer. Just doing his best, kind of feeding the wards right now, though. Ooh, bad move there, Venomancer. It's like, pretty slow beginning, no one's really dominating the lane one way or the other. This Venomancer actually really holding his own against the harass from the Jakiro. Jakiro's got it set on autocast. Not sure that's a great idea. I'm not sure... Is Lich trying to courier snipe? How close is the storm to bottle? Oh, here it comes. Ooh, this could be good. Here comes a little courier. Oh, this poor little bounty hunting doesn't know what's gonna happen. Lich, pay attention! Oh, wow. He's got it. Wow, well played. Poor Storm is now shit out of luck. Lich is frantically running away from these creeps. That was a, a very good career snipe. Some movement top, nothing really as far as First Blood's concerned. This PA is having a difficult time dealing with all of these Venom wards. And he still has another clarity on him. So like right now, our Ember Spirit is just out farming. Uh, Jakiro's getting a lot of last hits too, which is kind of interesting because I would have thought that the PA would, uh, he'd want to be giving those to PA, but I'm wondering if it's because he has a set on autocast. It just keeps hitting repeatedly. Lich needs to make something kind of happen soon, though, because he is going to be under level. He's still level 1 at 3 minutes in, which is kind of a problem just because his ulti is so good at level 6. It's a lot of their team fight. Venno just chipping down this bottom lane. I mean, that is one thing that I really do hate when I'm playing Phantom Assassin is getting constantly harassed by, especially something that's got a bit of a DOT with the poison. Hey, Bass, are you back? Um, I am back. Unfortunately, my Dota is kind of being mean, so it's going to take a little time before I can watch anything, but I'll make the quick commentary of, oh my god, it's a PA. They're having a lot of problems with the uh, DCs, actually. We had that problem in the beginning with the Elder Titan, and the Storm Spirit has now DC twice. Oh boy, that's that's not good. Yeah, they had a really awesome courier snipe where they put Lich just sitting waiting for Storm Spirit's bottle. But the problem with that now is that Lich is level one at uh, three minutes in. Well, that's not too bad. It, it could be worse. I mean, I guess it, it can make it up with sacrifice, but. Well, uh, you know, he, he's the support. He's not going to be that viable until he hits level six. What is this PA going for? Yeah, yeah, at least in my opinion. But the second he gets level 6, you know, team fights are arising. It's like, you know, throw your ultimate and 
see what happens. I was a bit concerned because our Ember Spirit in the top lane actually is going up. It's a dual ranged, um, but he's actually leading in CS currently. We also have that Jakiro has his uh, Liquid Fire set on autocast, and he's taking a lot of the last hits. The PA only has 12 last hits, where our uh, Jakiro has 17. Maybe he's the true carry? I don't know. They're going to secure that well, illusion rune up there. that's concerning if you're the PA. All of a sudden, you're, you're, you're going in there with Let's the mindset of being the carry. Now, all of a sudden, it's like, okay, I guess I'm the support now. So support for Well, I don't, I don't think she's meta. legitimately a support, but... She's just having a lot of trouble getting CS down here, and this Jakiro, because he's caught his uh, Liquid Fire on Autocast, is just taking her last hits. Hey, you know, I'm just Great trying to say, you know, maybe we'll, we'll see the new meta, PA becoming support in the beginning I, of the game. No, and no, 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 that's not a thing, Bassy. Hey, come on, hey, if Marana can do it, PA can do it. Top Ooh, the Summer Spirit needs to be careful. Get, get, get. They're giving Ember uh, stacks, which is great, but he just he's too squishy. He can't take stacks yet. Like, in the uh, Morphling was just coming around the corner on him. They're doing a lot of stacking, actually, in the jungle, which is really great. That'll be very helpful for when uh, Ember does get, you know, some more health and his Battle Fury. Right now, he's sitting on a bottle and boots, though. I'm not sure I like the bottle choice on a safe lane Ember, but I also don't really like safe lane Ember, so. Safe lane Ember, I mean... It's like, I play, broke. I, I, I like playing him in the middle. When you're in the safe lane, the bottle. Uh, yeah. That 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 700 gold can go towards like, you know, anything other than a bottle. They have a rotation on bottom. I think they're gonna try to get rid of the Vanamancer just because he's giving Kia such a difficult time. She's actually out of all of her regen. Well, oh, and of, there goes Jakira doing liquid fire again. <sighs> hmm. Maybe he's trying to push out the lane. Storm is just trying to catch up with CS. He's just going into the jungle. He's sitting at 11 and 4, whereas uh, oh, the mid Dragonite is sitting at 23 and 10. It's like Train's having a bit of a trouble with uh, their farming situation. I, I don't see any reason for Jakiro to try to push out the lane when you have a PA there. You kind of want to sit back and just farm under your own tower. Oh, it's really hard because the Venomance is putting up a lot of pressure. She's actually going to go home right now because she's just at half health and is afraid. Shadow Shaman's running through his, uh... Oh, it looks like they're trading lanes. Looks like Morphling's going to come bottom now. See if he can deal with the Venom a little bit more. So I'm guessing they're throwing the Morphling into a support role? Um, no. I think they're trying to run dual carries, which is a little bit greedy considering their lineup. Yeah, PA is moving top now. Um, I don't think that's a really good idea, just because she is behind on farm, and this Ember has quite a bit. Hmm. I mean, Ember's six and PA is five, and she's got no items. Not even boots? She has boots, she's got one blade of attack, that's it, she has no more regen. Oh. She's sitting on 316 gold. It's, it's a tough... Oh boy. Oh, Elder Titan probably could have punched him to death there. Ooh, well, that's blood. no bueno if you're being punched to death by Elder Titan. I know! Grave. That briefcase. Oh boy. He is actually gonna just panic and TP out. She is having a bad game. They're actually being oh, able, man. though, bottom, to push up on the Venomancer a little bit more just because then they have three ranged. Or two ranged right mm -hmm. now. They actually rotated the uh, Shadow Shaman back up top. But this PA, they're really having a lot of trouble. Well, you live and die by the PA sometimes. Oh, they did get a freeze off on the Venomancer. I don't think it's going to be enough, though, because uh, Morphling was not paying attention too low on the health. Christ. Things aren't looking great for the trains. Both of the uh, cores on the Dire really just leading in CS. We've lost the Storm Spirit again. Something is wrong with his computer or his uh, internet connection, I think. Well, Guys, how is the volume? Am I too loud? His internet, I'm having a hard time with Steam. I so know. we both have something somewhat in common. Potato computers. <laughs> yeah.
He's huh. having a hard time playing the game, you know, with the internet cutting in and out. I'm having a hard time casting with you. I know, because you can't actually see the game, unfortunately. Yeah, it's very unfortunate, because I'll just be like, oh, wait, I think I got Steam rolling again. These yeah, guys... it's very unfortunate. These guys are having a really good... Like, the di looking at the graphs right now, net worth and the experience earned, they have a huge lead with the higher. Could you say it's very similar to like an exponential graph? Just going in one direction and not Um, going. it's a, it's a very like general slope so far, but it's definitely, you know, starting to get more and more steep as this game goes on because they're gonna hit six. A lot of these guys are, uh, yeah, we've got Vitamancer is seven. He was solo though. Dragonite is eight. Ember is a seven. Um, the lowest person on the team is actually the Elder Titan, who looks to be the hard support. And he's sitting at four. Most of the uh, transient team is sitting around, you know, four or five. You know you're going to be in a long game when their hard support is the lowest level and you're barely meeting that. Yeah, that's, that's a huge problem. They're being really good. If you look in this jungle... They have, well, you can't, I'm sorry, Bessie. <laughs> um, they've got stacks going in a lot of these areas, kind of to help, you know, Ember just accelerate faster. He's been taking them rather regularly as well. They really need to start stacking the jungle, either for, like, this uh, Storm Spirit to kind of take some of those camps, or for their PA if she ever gets a Battle Fury, which I'm not sure what the timing's going to be on that. It's not looking great. Hmm. Well, if I could see the jungle, I'd be saying, well, that's that's tremendous for them. Where's the net worth? Alright. Looks like I'm getting my Dota to work today. I'm gonna, like, knock on wood, make sure that, you know, you don't jinx yourself. We're still waiting on the Storm Spirit to come back. Looks like he's relaunching, so he should be back in soon. Oh, that's good news, that's good news. Because, you know, you don't want to free up the middle and be like, okay... You know, free farm. Looks like Venomancer is going to go for Guardian Greaves. We've got uh, parts to... We've already got the meta boots. He's got an Iron Branch and a Rig of Region, which might be becoming a headdress, uh, which will build into the mechanism and then eventually into the Guardian Greaves, which I really like on Venomancer. And that also Guardian gives the Elder Greaves, Titan a little bit more space, like, to get other things to go for wards or, you know, whatever. If he doesn't have to worry about that mech. For sure. It just makes the life of an Elder Titan that much easier when your teammates are just like pitching in when they need to. And Ember's being very smart. He's constantly farming. Even when his lane's pushed up, he's ducking into the side to go uh, do some more farming. Just keep that GPM up. Does everything that a carry is like supposed this. to do, something I don't do very well. <laughs> I didn't say I just, it, man. I didn't say anything. All I'm saying is, sometimes I just like farming the lane. I just want to stick in the lane. I don't want to go in the jungle because that just throws me off. All right, it looks like I got Dota back working again. Oh, they're going to push this middle tower. And it looks like they really can't do anything about it. This Storm Spirit is literally just standing still. I think he's timing out again. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. He's starting to move around again. Jakiro's gonna try to save this tower, but there are a lot of Venom Wards. They have a Dragon Knight that's in his, you know, ultimate form. They're just, they're gonna rip down this tower. They really can't do anything about it. Hey Thrash, I didn't realize the other game's not being played. That stinks. I just saw that tower go down. Well, the ward placements aren't exactly the, the worst or the greatest uh, from the Radiant side. No. It looks like they're immediately going to rotate top. This PA just having a really hard time. Doesn't even have her six. She's just totally being phased out. She does have the components for her phase boots, but just can't seem to get to the side stop, so she's going to have to wait for the career to come free. Mm -hmm. I do have to make a comment, though. Mm -hmm. The Observer Wards from yes. the Radiant side, that is absolutely adorable. From what I've seen, it's just a... Oh, it's a little frog! frog. I didn't notice that! Oh, come on. You're... 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 A Caster, you should notice these things. I thought you were gonna say girl, and I was gonna be like, you're an asshole. 
<laughs> now that you mentioned that you are a girl. I'm a real girl. A charcoal girl. Yes. Charcoal girl. <laughs> a yakiniku girl. Because I'm Asian. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like they just, they're looking strictly at push. They're really, you know, it's starting to look like TI last year with all the push strats. I'm just going after it, trying not to let PA have any space at all. PA's actually gonna pick up a stick? Like, that's bad. She's just having so much trouble staying in lane. This Shadow Shaman really needs to get a 6 so they can kind of put pressure on another tower. The uh, Morphling is hitting bottom tower. He does not have his Ring of Aquila on. Guys, please, I'm begging you, when you're pushing, Turned your ring of Aquila on. That extra two armor is excellent for creeps. It's it's fantastic. I cast it another game yesterday. Cast it, I don't think so weird. I think it was just cast. But uh, this gyrocopter never turned his ring of Aquila on, and he was just killing me the whole time. Oh, of, like how uh, I do it. Bottom towers under attack. See, I never turn that thing on because I just don't like it on. I, I just... The, the, I just don't like the aesthetics of it when it's on. Oh, it looks like they're gonna try to go down here on the uh, Elder Titan. I need to think of my wording choice better. They're gonna get a kill they're on the Elder Titan. On the Elder yeah. Titan, and he is gone. Oh, Dragon Knight has a full glimmer out. cape now. Nice. That's something I wouldn't have guessed for him to pick up, but. Oh, Radiant's top tower is under attack. Well, if you think about it, the glimmer cape is a little bit cheaper than the Shadow Blade, but the drawback to this is that. You can't oh, that's a dead Shadow PA. Blade that is a dead blade. PA. Uh, Jakiro freezing oh, about four of them right there. That is a great ice path. Ah, uh, but he's still gonna go down in the end. Uh, I really like the, the ice path and then the macro pyre on top of that. I mean, now he did a really good job with setting that up. But I'm just dropping all of his wards down here, forcing this tower. He's got almost a full mechanism at 12 minutes. That's very very good. Our Ember Spirit, uh, went Ring of Aquila. Again, not turning on his damn Ring of Aquila. These guys are killing me. The guy doesn't care. Just, yeah, I guess. He's got an Aquila, he's gonna keep it off, he's got, you know... Both of them, though. The Morphling doesn't have his on either. He's got two components of his Battle Fury. Looks like he's gonna farm it up fairly quickly, especially with all these stacks that they've been making for him. Well, right now, let's see here, uh, 1,500 gold on the Morphling. Wonder what he's going to be building. Gee. Hmm. If, Storm... if, I, uh, if I know correctly, it might turn into something called uh, Whoa, ESPN, apparently. ESPN? Why are we saying ESPN? Oh, sorry, my no I got a notification from ESPN. It was like, did it it. Oh, uh, okay. That makes a little more sense. I was like, there's definitely not an item called ESPN. Uh, am I missing something? Am I just not dank enough to understand this? Well, well it, what? <clears throat> sorry. It just personally, when I'm running Morphling, I like going for the Ghost Scepter first, especially against a team that doesn't have much nukage. And if you avoid most of their team as Morphling and you're just doing some split pushing and so forth, like how he has been doing from what I've been seeing. It's, it should be a relatively safe buy at this point of the game. They're gonna ping out the Roche, but uh, I'm not gonna find anyone there. Dragonite, they're just really going for just pushing down all of these tier 1s right away. What'll be interesting is if they keep up the pressure and the momentum. Well, Ember seems to be catching up in gold. Ember was never behind He's... on gold. Oh, when he went from like zero to a thousand. Oh boy, Venomancer. It looks oh, like Venomancer's okay. gonna go down, but they're gonna get a kill on the Shadow Shaman. Possibly the. Yeah, they're definitely gonna get a kill on the Jakiro. This Storm Spirit needs to just get out. He doesn't have enough mana to lock him down, though, coming from the Dragon Knight. Nope. Uh, although that's still heavily going in the uh, Fire Breathing Ducky's favor. Yeah, I really like the play from the Storm Spirit. He tried to salvage something out of there, but. In the end, he just realized he saw nothing that he could salvage and was like, okay, try to get out. Oh gosh, there's some movement and down here. Oh no! Storm Spirit. Yeah, no, he's gonna get out. He like does have a lot of escape. This... He worked really hard to defend it. And we do have a TP coming, coming in, in though. You got a morphine on the side Radiant there. This is, they're making so much space for this Ember Spirit though. Ember's gonna have some really oh. good items if he's farming properly. Like, because we've got everyone devoted to bottom. Oh, really? PA's got, like, nothing. She's got phase boots, she's He's got a stick. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 
low is it? Ember is like 400 away from getting his uh his battle fury. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh, I'm surprised that he didn't try to grab his claymore and his broadsword early just to give him a little extra damage while he farms and make his last hits go a little bit easier. Because he doesn't really need the Quelling Blade anymore or the Poor Man's Shield. Also that bottle. I'm, I'm not crazy about the bottle pickup. It's convinced. No, because it's holding up an entire slot. Like, he could actually comfortably have, you know, all three of those items right now. And it would be a huge deal. Mm -hmm, exactly. Ooh. Not to mention the sheer fact that he isn't going for the runes. He isn't rotating. Yeah, he's not going him. to the runes at all. So I'm not sure what that pickup is. It might be in a guide. Venomancer has a completed mechanism now at 15 minutes in. I believe that's when he got it because I'm like a minute behind here with my looking at him. Uh, and he does have the mana boots. So it looks like we're probably going to see Greaves coming out very soon because he's got about 1,000 gold. Lich is babysitting this invisibility rune up top, <laughs> taking the rune. Invisibility. Invis shut up, I'm Asian. <laughs> hey, you're I have these moments. Here, man. I forget what what's uh, your Asian bit. Battle Fury at 16 minutes. That's really good timing. I mean, it's not like the best timing, but it's it's excellent. This PA trying really hard to catch up. She's got herself a morbid mass. That's when you know that you're really not doing well. When you have to get that yeah. morbid mask like right off the bat. Mm -hmm. This lich wants to do something. But he's gonna watch out, his invis is gonna run out soon. Oh, we lost the Storm Spirit again! Okay, apparently I'm really loud again. I don't know why my microphone keeps doing this. I don't know either. But, uh, because I you set don't mine me, down. You know. I've got it at 60%. I guess I'll take it down even more. Is my microphone too loud or. You're fine, I think. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, like when I was listening to my VODs the other day, they, it's just too loud. I'm using my um, webcam microphone. I don't know if I'm just really, really loud. Well, you do get super happy and everything when something big happens. It's like, yay! That might be it, too. I'm very loud. That's just the music training. I'm going to look at my settings over here. There's no way to really like change the the noise other than the noise gate, and it's still saying that I'm like super duper loud. If I turn it, no, that doesn't work. I guess I need to spend the rest of the game just whispering. Nah, it's okay. Uh, my chat is telling me not only am I loud, I am mispronouncing. It's not Aquila, it's Aquila, apparently. Today I learned. Well, tell your chat that when they go ahead and start casting, they can go ahead and announce whatever they want to announce. Well, no, I do want to know if I'm doing something off, you know, rather than looking totally embarrassing. Because, like, what isn't what's the official pronunciation for Abaddon? Because it's not Abaddon, right? It's Abaddon. People... I've always gone with Abaddon. I thought it was I've Abaddon, but I guess it's like Abaddon. 2007. I don't so know. So I don't know anymore. People have been screwing up the enunciations in this game since day one, so it doesn't really matter. It, you just go with it. Right? I think as at, long at as people point, know what I'm saying, then I should be fine. Yeah, at one point I actually started calling, well, well what was it, S N Y, Sange and Yasha, because when you look at Yasha, it's like a Japanese enunciation. They're two swords. We're just so gonna blame it on you being it's Asian. Sange. <laughs> To me, logically, that's what it's supposed to be enunciated as, is like, Sange and Yasha. But I everyone's know. like, no, it's Sanj and Yasha. And I'm like, I've never heard of it this way. I think we should just start mispronouncing everything and have everyone get really, really mad at us and be like, no, this is a pronunciation. Okay, so P.A. is actually Fa. <laughs> Phantom Assassin. <laughs> that just sounds Asian. <laughs> no, no, it's Fa. Fa. She is Fa because she's just a bowl of food. Of noodles. Because oh, I could go for some fall right, right now. now. She's just like a wet noodle. I could go for some fall right now, like legit. Well, that sounds really good right now too. I know, right? This invisibility rune's gonna wear off fairly soon. Let's just gonna have to be careful. He does have a glimmer cloak though, so he should be able to escape. They really like glimmer cloaks on this team, huh? 
Yeah. Well, it's a very good item, honestly. But like I'm saying, if you're the Dragon Knight, you really want to go for that Shadow Blade to turn into a Silver Edge, because when you take on that PA, that Silver Edge is going to come in massively handy if she ever does become something viable later on. I had something I was going to say and I totally forgot now because I was busy listening to you talk about Silver Edge, which is an excellent thing to pick up. This Venna is very close to getting these graves. Oh, come on. Ember, man up. You could have gotten a kill and gotten out of there. Oh, oh they're going after the PA. Oh, they're they're going gonna the probably. Yeah, yeah, they got her. Oh, she's oh, gone. Really fast oh, Poor she's PA. Down. She's just having a real rough day. Whoa, initiating killing spree oh, mode. That movement going top. Oh, they. Oh, man. They actually dedicated wards top here. Oh, Ember, what are you doing, buddy? No, Ember's gonna be fine. It's, uh. The shaman just panicked, dropped the wards. They really need to be using those for pushing. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, the Shadow Shaman realized the mistake there. Please turn on your Aquila. Please, God, turn on your Aquila. You're killing me. I said it right that time, Aquila. I do actually read my chat, guys. Uh, I try to be very interactive with it. You know what? I am actually interested in seeing what is the professional enunciation of Aquila or Aquila. I, I think I, I don't know. I feel like it's a it's a Q, but like like I said, I could be totally wrong. This Ember is just free farming this jungle. Uh, looks like he's gonna be grabbing something from Stash. What does a carry have on him? Boots of travel. Let's say we got the okay. And yes. Guardian Greaves. There's the Guardian Greaves. We've got fancy about. boots on that on that courier. Well, that storm spirit was uh, sitting at the si the secret shop over on the radiant side for a few moments longer than he should have. Because I want to see. Was con I guess he was contemplating what to pick up between the vitality booster or point booster or the energy booster because he just like spirit. sat there. Uh, yeah, it uh, looks like he's still gonna try to go for bloodstone. This has been a rough game for him though, especially with all the DCs. I'm guessing he's not playing at his you know full potential just because his internet's lagging so badly. I like that the uh, Dragon Knight's sitting on a bounty rune, just sitting in his bottle, you know, chilling out. Yeah. PA has finally Ooh. finished her Helm of the Dominator. Uh, Dyer's top tower is under attack. Got the boots of travel on the Ember. Who was I playing? I think it was yesterday I was playing with Ryan, and Ryan was just like pooping himself over the fact that, you know, you should always get boots of travel on Ember right now. But he was saying get it first item, which I don't agree. I always think that it's better to pick up the Battle Fury first, just so you have a farming item, a little bit of damage, and then, you know, move on to the boots of travel, because you can farm them up faster then. Well, I just learned something interesting. You can actually disassemble the, the cloak. The cloak? You the, can? Uh, yeah, apparently, the uh, Glimmer Cape. That's because... actually really interesting. I didn't know that, because he's got a Shadow Blade now, and he's got the yeah, cloak still. and he still has the cloak still. Wow. Oh, so if you can disassemble that, that's actually a very good pickup for uh, for Dragon Knight anyways. I didn't just realize that. immediately just get the Shadow Amulet, get the cloak, add some tankiness in. Oh, this poor Shadow and Shaman is so yeah, poor. Early game. We lost Storm again. Oh boy. That's no bueno. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. I don't know why my microphone is making it this loud. I actually checked all my settings. I'll try to talk a little bit quieter. I apologize if I'm uh, too loud though. Looks like we're gonna see an Agnum's over on this Venomancer pretty quickly. He's already got the point booster. Lich has a Staff of Wizardry, which I'm not sure if he's gonna go Ags first or if you think he's gonna go like a Force Staff for Utility. What do you think? Yules. He's gonna go for the Yules. Why Yules? Well, think about it. Uh, I'm just saying Yules for the sheer fact that Yules is so much fun on Lich. Because it's absolutely useless on him. <laughs> no, the Force Staff is a better choice on him. <clears throat> uh, They've taken, the chat has officially pickup. taken on your um, Wet Noodle for the uh, Phantom Assassin. The Fa, the Wet Noodle. Yeah, yeah Fa. I, I, I was hoping they would pick that up. 
<laughs> well, she's somewhat not as wet and noodly because she just picked up her Helm of Iron Will so she can get the Helm of Dom. Which is sitting in the base this. currently. Well, she's gonna, nothing. she'll probably crow it soon. She literally just uh, picked that up. Or okay. bought it, rather. I think she's gonna have to go, like, what do you think, Sanjanyasha kind of thing on her? It might as well. Because I don't yeah, think it's worth it to get the Battle Fury anymore. This Venomancer is a menace. He's 3 and 0. Oh, he's just pushing non stop. I would hate to be the other team going up against a Venomancer with Guardian Greaves and. And agonims. Uh, looks like we've got a broadsword pickup on this Ember Spirit. Is he gonna go for another Battle Fury, do you think? Because that's not Oh, crit. that's a silly thing for him to do. Yeah, there's no reason for him to go on that again. Middle tower is under no, 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 the broadsword should be for the crits. Joined your channel. Uh, Dehe just joined. Hello, Dehe. He's got him like muted right now. Ooh, uh oh. Ooh, this... nice hearing change there. Yeah, that's gonna be a dead Jakiro. And, uh. And the Morphling's like, nope, sorry, buddy. Morphling's Stop. still trying to get that, uh, Lincoln's. Oh, goodness. No damage really on this guy yet. This isn't looking oh. very good for Transient. He's going for the Lincoln's? Oh, boy. We also have the Shadow Shaman just running around wearing regular, just plain boots. No mana boots or anything. He's just been trying to freak, you know, ward everywhere, and they're actually doing a better job with the warding. We've got, you know, over here on the eye spot. We've got it over mm -hmm. on the ancients. Um, oh, Radiance top tower they're really attack. being smart about these pushing wards. Yes, they Radiance are. Top tower and fallen. they just forced that Dyer's top tower, tower down. Attack. I mean, they and forced everything mid. out of that. They got <clears throat> one of their main team fighting components. Oh, they're gonna there. try to catch this PA. Uh -oh. oh, the stomp! Oh, nope, too I late. Think that PA be gone. Nope, she's gonna be alright. She's gonna get out. They're not gonna okay. throw away their lead here. They seem to be playing very smart. But they really did an excellent job on that top tower over there. I mean, they just took it down easily. They well, they, they have all the push, you know. Here. They let this Ember free farm for quite a while, so he's got a lot of damage. You've got the Dragonite ulti. You've got the Veno Wards, they just, they're able to push much Radiant faster than the other team. And they do have such a lead. When you take a look at how, you know, the Transient team is set up and everything, versus the, you know, the Duckies, the Duckies is a lot more reliable push than, per se, the Shadow Shaman and the Jakiro. Because, you know, you're heavily reliant on an ultimate as opposed to Poison Wards. Apparently you're only allowed three pauses. Guys, keep That's in mind, good. I have a three minute delay on my stream, so I'm not going to see things right away. I'm going to see them at different times. I just had to remind stream that I have um, a three minute delay on my stream, so I'm not going to see all their comments in real time. You should have put a disclaimer on there. I did put a disclaimer. Um, I guess I'll put one in chat again. But, you know, because of stream sniping, I have to be particularly careful about that. Of course, because you don't want people cheating, because, yeah, well, you know, people on the internet, you know, the honor system, it truly exists on the internet. Well, the storm is not that far away from his bloodstone, which is very good news for him. The problem, uh, though, is Storm is one of those characters that needs to snowball out of control, and he hasn't gotten, like, any kills. When you're down eight kills, going up against your spirit brother, I think you're gonna have a bit of a problem. I don't know what he's thinking right here. Too. He needs to just run from the sky. Yeah, Ember's... And there's a yeah, Ember's... Hello? Can anyone hear me? Oh. Got him. Easy. Over here. <laughs> oh, the Ember did get his crit stick. We we'll see. Let's see here. We have three in the middle. Four, no, three in the middle, running around aimlessly, trying to figure out what to do as a team, while everybody is bombarding the top lane. I mean, they really can't do anything to stop this push. That's very true. Honestly, it's just like it's very difficult to begin with. 
Oh, he does have I crits mean, now. With the uh, solace. Yep. The crit stick. Might as well just drop those wards down somewhere probably on the back end. Oh wow, did you see that oh. poor Shadow Shaman pop like a zit? That was uh, interesting. They're gonna take this tower, there's nothing that they can do about it. From what I'm saying, this might be GG. Uh, I wouldn't say full GG yet, they might back off. If I were them, I would go take a Roche after this. I like how uh, they just drop the poor man shield in the middle there because he's getting. Wow, that stomp! That was a good stomp. Yeah, actually, I'm surprised Ember is going Deso. If one more uh, transient player goes down right here, I think they can go for the GG. They're gonna back off. The, the Ducky should go with the safe route and go straight for the. I say that they should probably go Roche at this point. Well, not to mention, if you take a look over on the other side of the map, there is a bounty rune that's available, and they just pinged it out. Not to mention, there is a regeneration rune on bottom in front of Roche. Oh, they should give that regen rune to the Ember Spirit if you can get to it in time. It, it shouldn't be that difficult. There's no one near it. Well, I'm just wondering if you'll even notice it, though, because they don't have a ward placement down there. Oh, uh, no, they do. They do. Down the bottom? Right one? there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm sorry. Bottom, I totally yeah. missed that. No, it's fine. It's fine. That, that's why there's two people with two sets of eyes, and they do oh, we do we really like, have you know a set yeah, of eyes each? The, Maybe yeah, I have uh, a pirate so. eye patch on right now. I would hope we would have a set of eyes each. Unless one <laughs> of us is wearing an eye patch. Um. Well. But, and took a lot. Just went ahead and said, "No, nope, Ember Spirit, you're not cool enough to have a regen rune," and he just picked it up and put it in his bottle. Yep. Well, poor Ember, no has love. A desolator. He no longer has a poor man shield. I'm surprised that he picked up a Deso. That's not an hey, unusual hey. pickup on him, is it? Uh, a Deso is not an unusual pickup. It's actually very fun to have on him, especially with a Chris Trick and a Battle Fury. Because especially in a big team fight, it's like that, 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 boom. Oh, You're all there. Man, oh, he should have left a Remnant down here. Oh, does he? Yeah, he left a Remnant. Yes, he did. That's good. Mm -hmm. He did leave a Remnant. Very good choice of uh, things. But the funnier situation, I think, is the fact that Chocolat has the regen rune. The Dragon Knight. The Chocolat. Chocolat? And he still doesn't have Chocolat. the uh, Silver Edge yet, either. He's not really well, going too much for damage. I think he's going more push. Yeah, no, uh, I, th I think he's going more tank, because he has his BKB. And he has the drums. Oh, I didn't notice the... Yeah. I think that's what he built first, was the BKB. He may transition to the Silver Edge right now because what else? What other item can he transition to right now? It's not a. It wasn't a bad idea to pick up the BKB because you're gonna be on the front lines no matter what. Mm -hmm. So might as well have it. So it's like okay, you can't get CC to death. They do have a work placement out over here in front. This with Elder a Titan just giving no fucks, just walking right up to them, trying to put down wards. <laughs> An Ember oh. Spirit. Oh wow! Look at that, that PA. That's a dead PA. PA. That not. is going to be Rax. More going to try to save it. Couldn't do much. They just don't Other have Titans enough to, to keep them from doing right? this. Oh, and that BKB is just kill. nasty. Just not doing any damage whatsoever to Chocolat, the Dragon Knight. Storm Spirit is trying to do something there, but he just went to sleep. The Storm Spirit, Spirit just is not able to do anything. No. Nope. Yeah. And there goes the Storm Spirit. Shakira is doing a nice little ice path there. Following everything up with all he can. That's gonna definitely be Rax. That might be game. Goes down, Aegis is activated. While the rest of the team is taking out the middle tower. That's, oh, that Morphin is dead. Yeah. Yup, I think that's GG. Yeah, I think it's GG as well. I'm not sure if they're gonna Oh, this poor Minimancer, he's just trying to hold on until his grooves are up. Yep, three, two, and a one. And Lamo, there we go. Ooh, right that into the Jakira. <laughs> Jakira is really good at laying down his ice pass. Oh, yep, that's a dead Shaman, maybe a dead Jakira. Oh my gosh, that's searing chains, man. That's searing chains. Oh, I think they're making a mistake backing off here. I think they should go back in and get that bottom Rax. Well, they really should, but if you take... Well, the push is all the way... Like, all the way up against the tower on the dire side. But... Since you have all these creeps in the base, you might as well go for it, right? Go for broke. It's not like they can do anything to stop them. 
not to mention you have an 18 kill lead right now and giving up someone for yeah Mega this Creeps. is kind of in a stomp unfortunately i think a lot of it probably has to do with the fact that storm just is not someone who got the you internet will... connection oh, uh -oh, yeah that's gg that is definitely gg it, 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 this game you know this is it, it's been fun to watch for sure <laughs> Radiant's middle tower is under attack! But, uh, if I was you, Moxie, could you go ahead and play that one link that I love putting in your chat? Radiant's something about being a disaster. The disaster? Episode? I don't have that link right now. It's a now. disaster! Alright, yeah, that's, so the first game of the series is gonna go hey, off to the fire-breathing duckies. Fire -breathing duckies. Fire -breathing duckies. We're gonna stomp 23 to right 1. Because they're duckies. Not because of chocolate, you know, he did great. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see if I can figure out what's going on with my mic, if I can make it a little quieter, or I'm gonna switch actually over to my headset since I'm not streaming with webcam. Well, that was a very nice comment from CNC. Hmm, what was the comment? My butt hurts from that pounding, Jesus. Oh my. All right, guys, gonna pull down stream to see if I can.